It is the start of a new cruise. Today is Sunday and it's turnaround day here on board the Wonder of the Seas. If there's one thing about me, it's that I love to save my money. Um, I'm a big saver. I do not like to spend my money. It's pretty hard for me to spend money on myself, but I do like to spend money on other people. So I would say I'm pretty good at saving. I'm really good at saving actually. Like majority of the money I make from a contract, I save. I don't even touch it. I probably spent the most last contract because we were in Europe for the entire contract. So I was living my best life. But even with that, I still saved and was smart about money when I was spending it. So we're going to bring you along for the week. I'm going to show you how much I spend in a week while working on board. A few things to note. I do get my expenses paid for on board, so I don't have to pay for my cabin accommodations, and I also do not have to pay for food. So if I wanted, I don't have to spend a single dollar on food because we have access to the mess or crew windjammer, if you will, which is basically buffet-style food, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's not my favorite. The food is not the best quality, um, but it is really nice that we don't have to pay for our food. So that is a huge money saver right there. However, I do like to have my little treats and, you know, there's a lot of stuff that we just don't have access to on board, such as avocado, berries, um... There's a lot of things. Bananas. We hardly see bananas. So I do occasionally enjoy a meal off the ship in ports. But since we are in the Caribbean, I really don't spend a lot of money. It's either on like a coffee or like a nice lunch with friends. But yeah, we're going to go through the week and we're going to calculate what I'm spending my money on and how much in total I spend. I get asked a lot about how much I make and I will never tell you how much my salary is. That's something that I just don't feel comfortable sharing and I'm really not supposed to share. So just please don't ask me because I'm not going to reveal that. However, I did go to Target and needless to say, I got a few things. I really didn't need anything, but I went with the girls and got a couple things. So I spent $63 at Target, which I know is probably going to be my most expensive purchase of the week but it is also things that will last me for many weeks like until I sign off. Starting off strong I got a giant container of quick oats for my protein oatmeal after shows. A restock of extra toasty Cheez-Its my favorite. These Welch's fruit snacks were on sale so I just I caved. They were like three bucks. I also bought a little container of PB2 also for my oatmeal, some vanilla almond milk. I was able to snag a container of strawberries on board. I'm getting low on sunscreen, so I got a restock of the Australian Gold. They didn't have SPF 30, so I got 15 because I like this spray. And then the final few items are makeup. It's a little bit of an impulse buy, but I did sort of need a couple things. So I am too tan for all of my foundations right now, so I decided to try the Revolution Makeup Conceal and Define full coverage foundation in the shade F7. So hopefully this matches. And then I also am too tan for my bronzer. So I got the Essence Matte Bronzing Palette and it looks gorgeous. Ooh. Final three things were unnecessary, but I wanted them. So I decided to treat myself today. I got the e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator in Brown Sugar. I also got the Essence Glimmer Glow Lipstick. It's color changing to my pH, so that'll be fun to try. And then I also got the Essence Extreme Shine Volume Lip Gloss. I have this in the clear shade, but they had this fun pink color. So that's everything I got, $63. So we're going to start the tally off strong. I don't presume I'm going to buy anything else today because I'm on board. So we will check back in tomorrow. Good morning from Coco Cay Bahamas. Today is day two. And I personally really enjoy Coco Cay for many reasons. Um, the water is beautiful. It's like so aqua blue and crystal clear. It's also just really accessible. It's so easy to get off the ship. And within, you know, five minutes of walking, you are there. But also, because it is Royals private island, everything is included. So I do not have to spend a dime today. Typically, the Caribbean is pretty affordable, but the expenses can definitely add up when you are 
going from port to port. Most ports do charge for like a lounge chair or a towel even, but because this is Coco K, all of the chairs are free to sit in as well as the towel, so I'm not spending any money there. I can also get a really good lunch off the ship that's also included, so I'm not spending any money. The only thing that would cost money here is excursions or if you are going to buy a drink, which I am not planning on drinking. So the drink package would also include your drinks in Coco K if you are cruising, but as a crew member, I would have to pay the full price with my like 20% discount. So today is a no spend day and I would definitely call that a win. on board um, I've made myself a coffee this is another cost saving thing that I do I have an espresso machine on board in the cabin and I just prefer to make my own coffee in the cabin I save a lot of money this way we have a cafe on board for the crew members and the coffee is pretty affordable I want to say it's like two dollars for an iced latte but still it can add up especially with how much coffee I like to drink so um, I just find that this works well for me and I have like the little pods I just throw in the machine and Lo and behold, I have a nice coffee, and I also have my almond milk that I bought from Target yesterday in here with like a splash of creamer. Nice and easy. I mean, it does cost me money, technically. The machine costs money, and the pods, and the almond milk, but it's less than if I was to buy coffee, let's put it that way. I would say a pod is like 50 cents. I have just made my way up to the gym. I enjoyed my coffee, and now I want to get a workout in. A huge privilege of being able to work on board is the fact that I have access to the gym for completely free. There are weights, yoga mats, like there is so much to choose from in this gym and I do not have to pay a penny to use it which is so nice. Gym memberships can definitely be pricey when you are living on land and when I am home I just do like at home workouts but it is so nice to be in a gym environment. So I am taking full advantage of this privilege that I have. I think today I'm going to do a little bit of weights and I want to do like a 30 or 40 minute Pilates video. Today's little gym fit is Halara and Lulu so I have this like bright bright orange top from Halara. I got it last week and I love it. Fits me really well and the back is super cute. It has like a crisscross detail. And then I've just paired it with my 7 8 crop Lulu leggings and my Adidas sneakers as usual. And then I've got this white headband on that I've had on all day. Let's throw the hair up and let's get a workout in. Yesterday was a sea day, so I did not spend a penny. I should have probably showed you my lunch, but I forgot. However, today we are going to be in St. Thomas. We are there until 8 o'clock tonight, so we haven't arrived yet. I have to run to parade shortly. I will be spending a little bit of money today, naturally off in port. I do want to maybe grab something to eat. Honestly, I don't know what our plans are. We kind of brainstormed a few things, but never actually settled on anything. So I predict my costs for today are going to be like taxi, food, and maybe coffee. Just look at the water. Parade was lovely. We did it. Now I'm off the ship. I did debate what I wanted to do for a while. I thought about maybe going to the other port because there are two different ports in St. Thomas and the other one has more restaurants and there's a few shops, but I did eat before I got off because I was super hungry. So there wasn't really a point for me to go 
eat more. <laughs> so I am headed to the beach. I'm almost there. It really is like a 10 minute walk. It's not bad at all. They do offer like a shuttle from the port to the beach. And I wanna say it costs like $4 each way. So definitely not a bad price, but I just wanted to get a little bit of movement in. And for me, it was just kind of pointless to pay for that. So I am almost there. It's such a beautiful walk. It is so hot out. I've brought my towel. I've brought my Kindle, so I'm gonna read. We've made it. This view is everything. This spot looks good. There's not very many people. They do have sun chairs, but I just don't feel like paying for them. They don't even look that comfortable. What a bargain <laughs> for my pop on Diet Coke. Thank you. Good morning. We are in St. Thomas. I'm here with the girls. We're at French Touch. It's a really cute cafe here in Phillipsburg. And the food is so good. I had breakfast on the ship, so I'm not eating anything right now, but I did order an iced coffee. So we're sipping on our little beverages. I'm content. This coffee cost $3, and we did take a taxi here um, because the girls didn't want to walk. What? For $3. For $3, yes. So yeah, we took a taxi here instead of walking. Usually I walk, but it's really hot today, and we were all tired. What are you drinking? I oh, know, detox. But I think I need that to stress. <laughs> for me so I'm just enjoying some window shopping I have no intention of buying anything because there is absolutely nothing I need but it's fun to look you know the the bum bum cream yes. smells amazing <laughs> yeah I love this stuff oh there's a big one. Oh, they have a pink one now yeah, and red, pink and... I s tried this one in the I shops can, can, we are in the grocery store right now i need to get some hand soap so i've just picked up this soft soap for the cabin because we are all out and this costs two dollars i'm back on board it's just about time to head to studio b and start the prep for a show day every so often i really like to buy a coffee off the ship of course i've got my machine here and i like to make a coffee but this morning midori was sleeping so i didn't want to wake her up um so I bought one off the ship and sometimes it's nice to just buy a coffee and enjoy. But I have made another coffee, <laughs> so I'm going to go to Studio B. I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow is a C day, so it's going to be another zero, $0 day unless I decide, I don't know, what I would buy. Maybe something as hop chess. Who knows? See you tomorrow. This is definitely not the vibe. I woke up sick. I wouldn't say sick sick, but like I'm extremely run down. Like I wish that I could just lay in bed all day and do nothing, but we did have an extra show added last minute to this cruise. So now we have five show days back to back to back to back to back. <laughs> and we also have all skates this morning. So yeah, it's a busy few days and I think my body is just coming down from last week and I'm just just really tired, so I'm trying to nip it in the bud before 
anything comes of it really. So I've made an emergency. I'm brightening my eyes right now because I'm looking tired. And I've made a coffee also. And I think I might treat myself to a juice at Java Cafe. This is like a one-off rare occurrence. I don't buy juice often, but they do make some really nice freshly squeezed juice. They've got ginger, they've got carrots, um, fresh oranges. So we're gonna probably head there and grab a, a juice before all skates. But I will tell you one thing, I slept like a baby last night. Absolute baby. Hot. So that's the vibe right now. I'm hoping that I can get to bed pretty much right after eating, after the show. We have a show at nine o'clock tonight. We finish around 10 by the time I put my costumes away, take my makeup off, take a shower. It's gonna be like 10.30, cool down. Then I'm gonna eat. So I'm aiming to be in bed by like 11 tonight because then tomorrow I have six hours of box office into warm up ice, into shows. So busy, busy day. Um, but today's another C day. And yesterday was a C day, but I did not spend any money. I was actually planning to go to wine bar tonight with some of the girls. We were going to do like a little girls date. Um, so that would have costed some money. But now because of our show being added, we can't go. So in one sense, it's good because I'm saving more money, but... That would have been fun, so we'll have to reschedule that for next week or something. Happy day seven. <laughs> Can I do apple, orange, ginger, and lemon, please? Oh, thank I you. I can't wait. Lemon is caro. Lemon is caro. Got my juice. They were out of lemon, so I got apple, ginger, carrot and orange. It is just about time for our seventh and final show of this cruise. So I wanted to recap each day of this cruise, how much I spent, and add it up for the grand total of what I spent this week while working on board. Starting off with day one, it was turnaround day, so I did make a Target trip, which wasn't entirely necessary, but I did get things that will last me the next few or the remaining few weeks on board. So in total at Target, I spent $66. Okay, at the beginning of the video, I read the receipt and it was $63. So I don't know what was in my head at this moment and I said 66, but I did use $66 as my calculation when I was adding up. So just keep that in mind. Whatever I say for the total later, it's minus $3. Again, I don't do that every single week. The week before, I hadn't spent any money on turnaround. Day two, we were in Coco Cay, so I did not spend a penny. Day three, we were at sea, so once again, I didn't spend anything. I made a coffee in the cabin, so zero dollars there. Day four was St. Thomas, and I treated myself to a nice solo day at the beach, reading my Kindle and swimming in the water, so that was obviously free. I didn't take a taxi or the shuttle, so also didn't spend any money on that, but I did buy a Coke or a Diet Coke at the little restaurant called Tickles, and that was $3.75. Day five, we were in St. Martin. The girls did not want to walk. I was totally content to walk to the beach. It's like a 15 minute walk, but they really insisted on taking the taxi, so it was $3 a person. And then I bought a coffee at the cafe we went to called the French Touch. I love that place, definitely recommend it if you're ever in St. Martin. But that also cost me $3. And then lastly, I bought my soap, which was $2. I ate breakfast, lunch, and dinner on board this day as well. So my grand total for day five was $8. Day six, again, another day at sea. Didn't spend anything there, so zero dollars and today I did of course buy that juice but it was very much necessary one thing I will never feel guilty for spending money on is my health like health is the most important thing so uh, I felt like that juice was a really nice treat and definitely beneficial for my health and my immunity so with that being said this week's spending comes to a grand total of $81.75 I am pretty happy with this total like I said every week ranges and I definitely don't go to Target every single turnaround so that was the biggest expense for the week and again like I said before I messed up the calculation of the Target haul so it's three dollars less than this total which doesn't really make a difference but I just wanted to throw that out there like I said I love to eat off the ship every once in a while if it's worth it to me um, I was planning on going to wine bar tonight with the girls but because of our show getting rescheduled or added 
those plans fell through. However, I've spent under $100 in seven days, which is definitely way less than I would have spent if I was living on land. So this job is great for saving if you are very conscious about how you're spending your money. Of course, things like taxis, um, beach chairs, drinks, that can all add up really, really quickly when you're in port. And I never want to hold myself back from a really good experience, but for me, I just kind of weigh what is worth it and what's not worth it. It's the next day, my camera died yesterday, and I am still in show hair and makeup because we have another two shows tonight. But before I end this video, I wanted to share some very highly anticipated news. I mentioned a while back that I had exciting contract updates for you and that I was going to tell you soon. I did not specifically withhold this information. It was purely because of how busy I've been. Um, and it's just, I haven't had the moment to sit down and share it with you. But I am signing off of Wonder of the Seas on June 18th, so very, very soon. It is absolutely insane how fast this contract went by, and this is my shortest contract yet. I've never had a contract that's four months long. And I did receive a lot of comments asking me why I decided to end this contract short, but the reality is this was the scheduled length of my contract. I never specified how long my contract was, and that was because it wasn't time to tell you the next step of what's going on. But I am not leaving this contract early. My contract is complete on this day, and I will be signing off, completing my contract in full. The rest of my cast is here until October, but I have different plans, so my contract that was given to me was a four-month contract. You guys are dying to know where I'm headed next, what are my plans for the future. Um, there's a lot of rumors going around and speculations, but I am actually headed to my fifth contract on the Explorer of the Seas in August, so I will be cruising around Europe once again, and I am so so excited. This is a highly requested show among skaters on ships. It's actually the original Seasons Ice Show, so 365 was kind of inspired by Explorers Ice Show, so that's really cool that I get to do both seasons. Obviously the show I'm doing right now on Wonder is more modern because it is only a year old, but this show is really, really nice and I'm so excited to perform it. And I'm even more excited to be cruising around Europe once again and I get to visit many new countries. So it's all different ports from my Voyager contract. So I'm flying to Italy to sign on. That will be my home port. That contract is going to be a blast and I'm actually going to be with quite a few of my friends from Voyager. So we're going to have a little reunion there. I definitely can film a video discussing all the details of that upcoming contract in another video if you guys have questions. So let me know if that's something you want to see. But yeah, that's my news. I'm headed to Explore of the Seas in August of 2023. And it's going to be great. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support. Thank you for watching this video. And thank you for being here every step of the way. Every contract, I feel like I grow and evolve as a person. And it's just really nice to have you guys supporting me along my journey. And yeah, it just means the world to me. So thank you so much for being here. I love you all to the moon and back. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.